Express yourself. That's Samuel L. Jackson as Mr. Glass, the madman with the bone disease, talking with James McAvoy as Kevin Wendell Crumb, the psycho with multiple personalities. In that scene, he's telling them it's time to unleash their powers upon the world in Glass, the final chapter to this M. Night Shyamalan trilogy, which began with Unbreakable in 2000 and Split in 2017. Now, this is the final chapter, and I'm in the mix about it. I'm Chris Zweig. Let's take a look. The movie also reunites Bruce Willis as David Dunn, a vigilante who can see other people's crimes by touching their skin. In this opening scene, he has an entertaining battle with the beast. Then these two are placed in the same asylum with Mr. Glass and all of them are examined by a psychiatrist played by Sarah Paulson, who tries to convince them they're not really superheroes. You think you have superpowers? It's a feeling. Vision. I have to touch them. You believe you are a protector. It's usually entertaining when different characters come together in the same movie and the performances from McAvoy, Willis, and Jackson are still amazing. I came close to recommending Glass because of the emotions and ambitions, but I had to go against it because it basically serves as a hate crime for superheroes. I know why some people are against superheroes, but usually I get annoyed about the subject. In addition, the movie doesn't delve into the characters' motives that much, and the conclusion is depressing. This is not one of Shyamalan's best films, but at least it's an ambitious one, so I'm in the mix about it. Well, that's my mixed review on Glass. If you like this review and other reviews coming up, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my written reviews are at www.cjatthemovies.com. I'm Chris Zweig, and I'll see you at the movies.